watch this guy. Oh my god, he plows him! Gets out. Oh, whoa! Holy crap, that was insane. Yeah, Social Reject still in the running. We've got like five players right now, guys. Social Reject here, watch this. Well, 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 I hope that little intro grabbed your attention because today I will be talking about the time Power Bing freaking scammed me. Now, to fully understand this story, we must go way back. Like, I'm talking way. Okay, not. Okay, Alright, not that far. The 9th of August, 2020. So I was just lying down, you know, just having your typical day of quarantine, and then all of a sudden on YouTube, I see that Power Bing was doing some custom rooms. So I was like, I mean, I guess I could play some custom rooms, not like I have anything better to do. So I hop on into a room and I uh, instantly die. But that didn't stop me from joining the next one. Apparently, it was the last match, so Power Bing made the room special. He did crossbows and pans only. But I didn't really realize any of that because at the time, it was extremely difficult to get into a room. So I land, and the only thing I found was a crossbow and a pan. I was like, oh great, I'm gonna die quick again. But then I realized everyone else around me also had a crossbow and a pan. So that's when I started getting the memo, you know? So I just started swinging my pan everywhere, and there was about three or four people in that room. But I only knocked one, and everyone else in the room got scared they were like holy shit is that social with the pan time to go so long story short i just camped that one building pretty much the whole game i crossbowed this one dude who had an arm from a flare gun in nobo which by the way he wasn't supposed to go anywhere else but millie and got my five seconds of fame because power bang spectated that social reject here watch this oh what a shot god gets owned with a crossbow social reject is gonna loot the freaking bandages and oh my god i think that shot right there just won him the game that guy had the loot like i'm talking everything i needed came from this dude the blue zone hit millie and that was just fate decided the last person didn't have meds and i did so he could probably tell what happened next so he dies and i win so what did i get well um so after I won, Power Bing says, Social Reject 24 is your winner. I'm gonna write this person down. And I'm like, wait a second. Am I gonna get my name written down on Power Bing? Let's go. But it turns out I wasn't gonna get my name written down on Power Bing. Oh. After the stream ended, I replayed the stream and sure enough, I found Power Bing saying this. I want y'all to know that it's time to drop hot. We're all dropping in the same city. We're gonna go, it depends on the plane path, but likely Pachinki and the last man alive is gonna win a prize. If you if you don't go to Pachinki, you're automatically eliminated from winning anything. But uh, I'm, I'm hopeful we can have everybody cram into the city center of Pachinki and fight it out to get the dub. All right, so here is the room code and password. So the question remains, what is the prize? Is it a OnePlus? Is it some UC? Dude, I'm going to be honest. I really thought it was going to be a OnePlus phone because the OnePlus logo was everywhere from the title, the thumbnail, to even the overlay. But again, I was snooping around and I found Power Bang basically saying it was 600 UC. The last person alive inside the military base wins the... Uh... 600 UC. Yes, you see? Military base. Yeah. Yeah. Military base. Let's go. All right. Enough of that. So did I get my rightfully earned UC? Well, it should have been obvious from the title and thumbnail and at this point that I did not get my UC. Oh. Now, I know some of you are going to be thinking, oh wow, social probably just forgot about you. Why don't you just go message him? And I have. I've actually tweeted at him twice, but surprise, surprise, he didn't respond. And it seems like I'm not the only one he <clears throat> forgot. Let me tell you the absolutely tragic story of Cuckoo. Yeah. So about two weeks after I won the event, a guy named Cuckoo reached out to me on Twitter asking if I got my reward. I tell him that I didn't, and he goes on to tell me that he didn't get his reward either. Now he's pissed off at Power Bing. Alright, hold on, social. You're just gonna say all this without any screenshots or DMs? Well, I would have had the screenshots of the DMs, but... I do, however, have screenshots to prove that Cuckoo was indeed a real person, and that I'm not a schizophrenic. <laughs> Well, um, <clears throat> at least I, I think so.
Anyways, ever since he won the same summer showdown event, he actually even won the game before mine. He's been trying to contact Power Bang via Twitter as far as I know. And Power Bang actually responded not once, not twice, but... Actually, yeah, it was just twice, but, um, but I only have one screenshot of Cuckoo's tweet since, you know, uh, he got banned, and it reads, <clears throat> Dude, 12 days ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Dude, 12 days ago, I won the Hot Drop Summer Showdown Rooms hosted by you and Ond Plus, and you wrote my name down in quotations. I have proof I did not receive anything. I don't know if you guys are low budget scammers. As you can see, Cuckoo's tweets were a little aggressive, which is probably the reason he got banned and didn't get his reward, but Power Bang did actually say that he gave him his UC with this tweet. Power Bang also replied to him six days before these tweets saying that he's not avoiding him and he couldn't find him because of a symbol in his name. And it's true, there is a symbol in his name, but uh, what's the excuse for me? I don't have any special symbol, he's just straight up ignoring me. At this point, I became suspicious. I started to wonder, what if there were more victims of Parabang's absolutely disgusting, icky dicky, cruel scammery? So I went on a search and what I found was extremely shocking. I'm just kidding, I didn't actually find anything that shocking. But what I did find is a little interesting. So in another one of Power Bing's events about 11 days AS, aka after scammering, someone had their all chat on in lobby. Well, a whole lot of other people had their all chats on in lobby. Shut Hello, Power Bang. Shut the fuck up. Bang. How are you? Okay, you but one specific voice was calling the event a scam. Dude, okay. I won 12 days ago and he didn't give me shit. It's such a scam. It's a scam. It's a fucking scam. They won't give you any prizes. They just scam you. They write your names down and they do nothing about it. Classical stuff. Hello, Metal Core. Now, when I heard this, I was like, damn. Another victim, SMH. But upon further inspection, if we zoom in and enhance at about frame 762, in the video, you can see Cuckoo's name in the pile of names. So I'm pretty sure that voice belonged to Cuckoo, which still leaves us with two known victims. But, um, not for long. You know what would really suck? If he paid to get in matches for prizes and won, but didn't get your reward. See, every once in a while, Power Bing and MGC have this event where you buy something from the MGC store and get access to these matches where you can win some pretty big prizes. And like, I just entered that one match for free, you know, it was free for anyone to join. But paying to get in and not getting your prize is in a whole other ballpark of scamming. Now, again, I didn't go too deep. I just went on one of his previous live streams and tried to contact the winners via in-game or Insta. And out of the six people I contacted, only two replied, and those two replies are pretty distinct. So of course, one of them did in fact say they got the reward, so congratulations Power Bang, you're not an absolute scammer. Now I didn't actually verify if this person actually got the reward, but it seems like they have no business connection or anything to Power Bang, so they got no reason to lie basically. So I'ma just take his word for it. Now this next dude was difficult to communicate with because I talked to this dude via PUBG instead of Insta, and it's such a pain in the ass to text in PUBG because of his dumb censoring. Like they censored event dude, like the word event. Like, why is that even censored? What is this supposed to mean? I'm gonna give you lobotomy in Taiwanese, dude? But anyways, what this guy said wasn't a straight no, but it also wasn't a straight, I got scammed. Here, you know what? I'll just read you the text. So I start off by saying, hey, did you get your reward from Power Beans MGC <laughs> event? And then he says, not yet, I don't think. So this is where I thought, oh yeah, he definitely got scammed because that's what I thought after like two months. But then I was like, really? Have you won multiple or just once? And then he says, I put in the request late. So here's where it's like, maybe he didn't really get scammed. I guess there's a date where you have to submit a Google Docs form or something. I've never tried to get in one of these events, so I'm really just guessing here. And this guy just didn't submit it in time, I don't know. But I find it a bit odd that this guy paid money to get in and knowingly put in his request late. Unless he didn't know and they told them way after the dates, and that's how they get you and keep the money. But again, I'm just guessing at this point. So he also said, who is this? And I reply with, we don't know each other, I'm trying to see if Power Bang gives out rewards for people in MGC, because he didn't give me my reward. Oh no. I'll message that dude again and see what's up. 
I'll check my PayPal, but I don't think it's there. Now, I have a little bit of a wild theory. I know it sounds like I'm reaching, but if you really think about it, it kind of makes sense. Now, I think this guy contacted Powerbang, and Powerbang knew exactly who I was, and he was like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, here's your money, and uh, oh yeah, by the way, block that dude because i never heard from that dude ever again he's just up and vanished from my friends list but again that's just the theory and i will truly never know what actually happened and that's about all i have on power Bing and his cruel crime against humanity so in conclusion <laughs> In my eyes, Power Bang was like the PewDiePie of PUBG Mobile. He was my favorite creator in the whole PUBG hemisphere. But after he did that, I learned one valuable lesson. Never trust anyone, no matter how big they are. And like they say, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. Don't be dumb, guys. Don't be this guy. Don't, don't be him. Not cool.